Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thank you for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. I am still tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It is still in the description below. For your purchase and pricing details concerning this or any watch you see on any of our platforms, please reach out to me. I am still tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a watch that celebrated five years of Ming as a watch brand. Of course, the founder and namesake, a longtime enthusiast, enthusiast, writer, and photographer with a highly cultivated taste in watch style. And the watch that you see right here is the Ming 3707, unofficially the Mosaic 2. The original Mosaic came out in 2020. It was a hit, it sold out, and this is a revisitation of some of those themes, but in a slightly different form. Now the watch is stainless steel, 38 millimeters in diameter and delightfully thin at 11.3 millimeters thick with a lug tip to lug tip span of 44.6 millimeters and a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. It is designed to be an accessibly sized watch. It's for him, it's for her. The curvature of the lugs mitigates fit issues even as short as they are across the wrist. So I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference, no sweat. You can see even pulling the strap tight over the top, the lugs are not near the edge of my wrist. The best angle is always the down the barrel where you can really see how much clearance I have and then the cuff shot showing that even with this tight sleeve I could be wearing this watch comfortably underneath the shirt for elegance. The watch does have a lovely strap as you can see this is a Jean Rousseau Parisian made rubber strap double rubber black on the bottom white on the top a lovely two-tone effect you can see that it features a curved spring bar here with a pull tab action so you can pop the strap off the case without a tool. The curved spring bar creates a more integrated look as it allows the strap to be cinched closer to the case. That also has an ergonomic benefit as the pivot points of the strap can be drilled closer to the case without any impediment to the motion of the straps that really assists things. You can see no crimping, no gouging, a brand new Jean Rousseau from Ming strap. And then we've got a lovely little matching pin buckle. The pin buckle has evacuations in profile with a combination of polished satin and media blast. That's right, three separate finishes. And then if you look, there's a little micrometric adjustment with two pairs of divots drilled in here. So using your strap tool, you can move the spring bar to fine tune the fit just in case you are in between sizes with the punched holes. The case is beautifully designed, simple as Ming prefers, but with thoughtful details that really pop, like an oversized and knurled crown that includes a recess in profile, and from head on, you can see a combination of media blast and polish for contrast. The watch does not have a screw down crown, but it is water resistant to 100 meters, so you're good to go for swimming. There's a lovely flare to the profile of the lugs, which come to a point externally. Satination, longitudinal in profile, with a very slight outward cant or negative of tumble home to the bezel. The bezel is polished on its upper and lower facet, and then we have a domed sapphire sitting over a dial that recalls the original mosaic. Now, the way this is achieved is that there's a mosaic pattern on the top of this inner sapphire. So there's a sapphire over the dial. There's a mosaic pattern on its top, a mosaic pattern on its bottom, and then the brass plate that sits below that has still a third pattern, the combination of the three giving you the effect you see here. The hands are satinated for a subtle contrast. It's really the application rather than the hand itself that contrasts. And although the watch does not have traditional indices, it is easy to judge the passage of time. Also, a characteristic of many Ming models is that it has a superb amount of luminescence, which is not reciprocal. I just want to clarify that. Some people ask, can you see it through the case back? No, you can't, though you can read it quite well, and the mosaic being loomed is a feather in the cap of this aesthetically accomplished model. Now, one of the side effects of using a Salita SW200 base here is that it still has a hacking seconds function, even though the watch only has two hands. But hey, sometimes luxury is about getting more than you expect. Now, it is a Salita SW210 M1, and it has a bit of a custom nomenclature because this one is highly customized for Ming by its manufacturing partner, which is Schwarzetien, and Schwarzetien does the assembly and the tuning of the watches. Ming does final quality control. It is an international operation spanning Europe and Asia. But the watch features a lot of traditional Swiss watchmaking tropes, including an easy to read train from the crown wheel to the barrel through the ratchet wheel, 
Then the barrel driving a combination of great wheel, third wheel, fourth wheel, escape wheel, a balance beating away at 4 hertz, manual wind, 40 hour power reserve, 18 joules. It's lower than a traditional SW200 because we don't have the automatic winding system here. Several different textures, tones, colors, and you can really see the contrast is superb. I particularly like the spoke design of the black and silver ratchet wheel, and then a panoply of colors including silver, gold, black, and the violet of the pivot jewels. A very conventional regulator system. We've got a little index, and then for fine adjustments and beat error correction here, we've got Etacron. Just a good-looking movement. Not elaborate, not elite, but more than sufficient to the purpose. Ming is about making the most of simplicity, and this watch certainly does that. These are all uncommon watches. Ming will never build a ton of anything, so chances are no matter what model you buy, you will never see another. There's lots to love here, and if you love this one, reach out to me. I am Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.